Yo, yo, yo! What's going on, guys? It's Shabs. So, first and foremost, I'd like to say a big thanks, a big up to EA for their new update. Uh, the good thing is, the new update did not change the gameplay. I was very scared that it might, you know, because every FIFA, when they release the few, first few patches and updates, they mess up with the gameplay. But I just played some games, and the gameplay is phenomenal. It's smooth. It's, it's perfect. So, honestly, this has been the best FIFA I've played since FIFA 14. And... I'm so glad that it stayed the same, and I'm excited for this weekend's FUD Champions. Hopefully, it'll stay the same, and EA won't boot me off their goddamn servers. So guys, before I get into the first few games, and I'll show you the, the teams and the games that I play for Division 1 for this episode, um, I want to talk to you guys because uh, some I got kind of carried away, and I played games in the Division 2 without recording it, and I totally forgot about this series. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna jump from division. I don't want to spoil it actually. That I'm gonna like play games and jump all over the place and with different teams. And you're gonna be like, what, what, what? Just, just hang in there and trust me. After the first two videos of the first two games that you see for this episode, every single game will be with this exact team that you're seeing right now. So I got SPC Lacazette up there. I got Payet. I got Kante Schneiderlein, Ericsson, Remy. I got Kut uh, Kumba. No, Zuma. Uh, Shaw, Butlin, Smalling, and Sanya. This is the team I'm gonna rock with, with for the divisional gameplay from here on. Unless unless things change and this team doesn't play good, we got Draxler, Martial, and Renato Sanchez as the subs, super subs. But yeah, guys. So just just for you guys to kind of get clarification, you're gonna notice that the, the previous teams are teams that I actually used in the previous episodes. But I had to think change things up because I want to keep my coins in case of the market crash. I want to be able to afford better players for cheaper coinage. And because uh, obviously the value of your coins will not determine any changes, fluctuations, but the value of the players will. So you have to be kind of strategic with it, and that's what I'm trying to do with this, with my mindset right now. But guys, this team, it's very, very good. I like this formation, guys. If you have not tried a formation that has worked for you guys, use this. Because with this formation, I'm out shooting my opponents 10 to 1 almost every game, honestly. Unless I'm facing good opponents. Except for that good water. Unless I'm facing really good opponents or anything, this team works phenomenally, guys. And uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys an update on the team. And SPC Lacazette, Laka Sweat, who I've been enjoying a lot. And guys, I'm gonna get into the games now and hope you enjoy. So, guys, we're gonna jump into the first game and we're coming up against Wilson, Gray, Barkley, Sterling, Torre, Bellerin. They're both on loan. He's just Jose Fonte and Albana at C CB, so that's kind of easy for me. He's got Jack Butlin. The wonder freaking goaltender, goalkeeper, my bad. And he's got color off as well, guys. We open the scoring, though. A nice little passing play between Griezmann, Pogba, and Vidal. And Vidal gets into the box, uses his strength to outmuscle his opponent, and he finesses it past the goalkeeper. Beautiful, beautiful goal by Vidal. And a celebration that'll match that. And then, guys, 1 0, we're at the 47th minute. Griezmann gets the ball here, he's all by his on his own, which is what I hated about this formation, guys. It just so, so a few options on the attack. But look at this finish! Woo! That Griezmann finish, man. His left foot. I I downplayed his left foot, guys. In my review, if you've seen my Griezmann review, I kind of talk shit about his left foot. But yo, after using him for over a hundred games, I can say his left foot is much better than I gave credit for. Uh, but yeah, guys, we get the third goal here. Griezmann gets it in the Payet, our super sub, and he's gonna finesse it. Not finesse it. Low driven shot, bottom right with his left foot, guys. Seal the deal in this game. It is all done. But with we get a dumb pass there with Sanya. Give it right to Barkley, but he and he smashes the top right. And he does the LeBron celebration here. Uh, yeah, guys, that was his only shot on goal, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so we win this game four to one, three to one, sorry. And that was his team, guys. We got Griezmann's man of the match. Three to one win. We get five hundred coins in the bank. As you can see in the stats, guys, 12 shots, 8 on target to his 3 shots. And guys, next up, we're going to come up against this team right here. So we got Dybala, Eva Banega, Nain Golan, Inform Salah, the first Inform, Manolas, Koscielny, Kante, Varan, Loris, Musa, and Martial. A very, very well-rounded team. Good players all over the place. But it's a 3 in the back formation. Obviously, it's not going to be a problem with me because in this game as well, I used a formation that was not very wide. It doesn't it doesn't have much, much width with wingers, which I think I should have used. But anyways, we open the scoring here with Martial. Give the ball down with a nice little passing play, guys, with Modric, Martial, 
And in the 80th minute, we see Kante. And look at that for a finish. That was pretty nice. Uh, I was very surprised when he did the one, one, the one-time finish there with in Gola Kante. Uh, but yeah, guys, with the 84th minute, and we scored a very, very defensive game that uh, my opponent controlled. He controlled the game with this formation. This formation was very hard to play against, guys. Uh, but I just don't work well with three in the back formation. So I, as you can see, Modric is the man of the match. He subbed in Aubameyang and he moved Salah up top. I think he switched over to a 3-4-2-1 actually, as it looks like. And uh, yeah, guys, he dominated that game, I believe, if you look at the stats here. Uh, yeah, we got two shots on target to his six and nine. So really, really good game by him. And as you can see, guys, this is what I meant. We're 5-0 and in Division 2. And there were a lot of games that I didn't record. And that's all my fault, guys. But in the third game, this is where we're going to start playing with our Lacazette team. He's got Masha, Musa, Erickson, 4-1-2-2, Nero with Rooney. He's got Kuyate, Stones, Reed, and uh, Van Aanholt and uh, Butland. Very, very good team, guys. BPL sweaty team. Masha, striker, is pretty good. Uh, I like him there as well. Guys, we're going to open the scoring here with Erickson. Erickson's going to get the ball, dribble it around, give it into Laka Sweat. Laka Sweat is going to muscle the ball off to Shailen. Then Shailen back to Kante. Tiki Taka play to Payet. And look at this for a finish. Look at that for a finish, guys. Beautiful, beautiful goal by Payet. Uh, one of those goals that I was trying to move, position my player with the left analog stick, but he just stood stationary, and the shot still went in. So very, very good goal by Payet. He, when I first did the SPC for Payet, I was enraged because of how bad he was playing. But once I got a hang of using him, guys, uh, he just played phenomenal. And look at that. Look at that. He just stands there with his right foot. And bangs it into the top bottom left corner, guys. And then we get the ball here with Gamero, our super sub. Give the Schneider shine to Ericsson, and that's a five star week fit, baby. Beautiful finish by Ericsson, guys. He is so good in this game. If you have not tried him and you have a BPL team, you're missing out. He's, he's a Kevin De Bruyne light. He's so, so, so good positionally, man. Finishing week that weak foot comes in. He's got decent pace, that passing. Guys, it was 2 nothing. The game was sealed, uh, sealed and done. My opponent didn't have many chances. But he gets the ball off a corner here, holds onto it, shields me off, gives a nice little pass into Rooney. Rooney gives it to Mane, and Sadio Mane somehow gets through all my defense. I'm not sure what happened there. A horrible defending, but he gets his consolation goal with there with Sadio Mane. And that was his inform card, guys. And we still won that game, though. Thank God we did. Uh, Martial, he didn't get many many chances in this game, but uh, yeah. Kante Schneiderlein, very, very solid there. In that CDM position, guys, he's they're very, very good. Great partnership as well. I love using them together. And guys, there you go, thirteen thousand coins, Division Two title. So we are officially, officially in Division One now. Awesome game against Egg Fried Royce. <laughs> as you can see, the stats very, very even. Look at those 80, 11 uh, shots, eight on target for both sides. I had more possession because of my formation, I guess. But there we go, seven zero and one in Division Two. And there you go, we qualify automatically for weekend league. Obviously, with the placements that we got during the weekend league, uh, we all we already qualified, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, just wanted to show you that auto qualification does happen when you hit Division One. But guys, next up we got Martial, Griezmann, Sterling, KDB, Kante in form, who's probably the best midfielder in the game, and he's got Yaya Torre as well with Walker, Company, Smalling, Bellerin, and Czech. So guys, we get the ball here with our goalkeeper, give it off. Begovic gives it down to Kante. To, back to Laka Sweat, Laka Sweat to Kante, Kante to Schneiderlein, and look at that for a pass, beautiful pass to Ericsson, there's that 5 star weak foot he misses though, but Lacazette, right place, right time, exactly what I need for my striker guys, exactly what you want to get from your strikers, there you go guys, Laka Sweat with another goal, to add to his tally, it was a rebound, it was a garbage goal, he cleaned up the, the mess, but he still got a goal, he was in the spot, right place at the right time to get that goal, and uh, Laka Sweat, you know, I might give a review if you guys want it for Laka Sweat. Like, ask if you want it, just in the comment section below, let me know. Yeah, Shabs, I want a uh, SPC Laka Sweat review. I'll definitely give it to you guys, no problem at all. Uh, but guys, our opponent, in this game, I dominated the game, in my opinion. And I was in his half more than he was. And his chances were not that great. But look at this. I blocked the shot with Luke Shaw. It falls right on the feet of Kevin De Bruyne. And he's not going to miss that. From inside the box, left foot. Five star weak foot, man. He's not gonna miss those shots. But look at this. He shoots the ball with Kante blocked right to KDB. And what is my goalkeeper doing? What is Begovic doing, bro? Ah, he's he's a hit or miss for me, Begovic. But that's how the game ended, guys. One one tie. 
But you know we can't end that episode with a tie, guys. So we're going to jump into another game. And I'm going to give you one last game to try to get a win, guys. So every episode, I want to try to get three games in because I feel like that's a good good little number. But we're going to get four this episode, guys. As you can see at the, by the stats, four shots that were high for him. But we had five. And I don't think his shots were really high danger scoring chances, but mine were. Mine were all clinical in front of goal. And uh, they hit the post. I hit the post once with Lacazette, guys. But what are you going to do? We're 0-1-1 in Division 1. And our last final game in Division 1 for this episode, we're going to come up against a full La Liga team. He's got Benzema, Inaki Williams, uh, Yannick Carrasco, Isco Biscuits, the Biscuit Cheese, Tony Kroos, uh, Pepe, Godin, Carvajal, Marcelo, and Oblak. And that very, very good team for La Liga. And a decent formation that I actually enjoy using myself. But guys, at halftime, nothing happened really, but I was dominating this game as well. With this formation, guys, I feel in control every single game. And once again, I was dominating this game. I was in this half all the time. And uh, yeah, guys, so we're going to... Finally, finally open the scoring here. We're gonna get with Lacazette. Nice little Berber spin with the uh, uh, sorry Draxler. Give it into Lacazette. Lacazette's gonna sweat it down the right side. He's gonna do his own Berber spin. Give it back to Draxler, and this shot somehow gets the rebound down to Lacazette, and Lacazette sweaty makes it one nothing in the 71st minute or the 80th minute, I believe. But man, finally we scored. This game was so annoying. This guy was playing defensive, parked the bus, counter attack. But guys, we finally broke the ice. And then in the 90th minute, he gives a pass stupidly off to Lacazette. Lacazette's going to do a beautiful little one-two with Martial. And he's going to bang it into the net for his third goal of this episode, guys. Alexandro Lacazette. And he's 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 been playing great for me, man. I, I actually love his card. And I just can't wait to use it over and over again with that beautiful Selly, guys. And that is how the game would end. 2-0 not, in this game, guys. As you can see, Lacazette, man of the match, once again, 9.4 rating. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe for daily content on this channel. Leave a like button if you really liked it. And look at those stats, guys. 12 shots, 8 on target to his 7 and 6. But his 6 shots were not even, like, scoring chances. But guys, like I said, I hope to see you guys next time in these, in these episodes. Let me know in the comments section below what's a better name for the series. I hate using Road to Division 1 because it's so overused. I also hate using Road to Glory because it's so overused. And I also hate using, like, Zero to Hero and stuff like that because those, those are what other YouTubers use. I want like an authentic name, but I, I just don't have any ideas, guys. If you have any, let me know in the comment section below. But obviously, if you haven't subscribed, already subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.